weekday friends it's miss Maraid. i hope you guys are all having a wonderful week i've been on some of the zooms this week and i know something that some of the classes are talking about i thought was a fun thing to do is the life cycle of a butterfly last year we actually had uh, in the classes the butterflies then then we release them but since we're not in school this year i thought we could do it for a snack art so the life si cycle of a butterfly is first you have a caterpillar then the caterpillar turns into a cocoon and then after the cocoon it turns into a butterfly so i thought that could be our three three snack arts today we'll do a caterpillar a cocoon and a butterfly so for this snack there's a few things i did apple slices but sliced thin i have a Chex Mix, but you really only need little pretzel rods or little breadsticks. One baby carrot. And I have just dried cereal that we had um, to make the cocoon. So you can chew Cheerios, anything you'd like, but we had the, a little bit left of Apple Jack. So I decided to use that today. So before we get started, we always want to make sure our hands are clean before we touch food. So everybody go over to their sink. Wash their hands for 30 seconds, sing happy birthday to make sure we get all the germs off. And Miss Marie has her gloves on like we usually do in school. So I have my gloves on before we start. So we're gonna start first with our caterpillar. All right, and here we go. Here's number one. So our caterpillar I'm gonna use with some apples. There's our caterpillar, and I'm going to use, I think, these two little breadsticks here for up here. So you could see our little caterpillar like this. You could use Cheerios, too, if you don't have as many apples. But here's our caterpillar. And our next is we're going to make the cocoon, which usually just looks like an oval type where the caterpillar is in there turning into the butterfly. So it's usually not green and orange, but we're using our imagination. So, and last year we had our cocoons hold on to the little lid. So, and then they turned into the butterfly. So here's our cocoon. It usually hangs from something, okay? And then our last but not least is our butterfly. So we move this over. So our butterfly's body is gonna be the carrot. And then we're gonna take the apples, the thin sliced apples to make the butterfly wings. And we're gonna do the same on the other side. And then we're gonna use here, we could put the little apples together. And then we're gonna use little pretzel sticks for his antennas. Okay, so let's put it all together so you can see what it looks like. So first you have the caterpillar, then the caterpillar moves into his cocoon, which is also a chrysalis, that's a hard word. And then once the butterfly is ready, the chrysalis or the cocoon opens and the beautiful butterfly comes out. All right. So today we learned about the life cycle of a butterfly and maybe some of you guys are doing it at home. I know somebody, some people have the, the take home kits of the butterflies. Um, it's, a, it's a great thing and it's fun. And now we get to eat it and be healthy. So I'll see some of you guys on Zoom this week and others, hopefully I'm gonna stop by some of the classrooms to say hi to everybody. But if not, have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.